hello hello and hello okay so tonight i i did say i was gonna do a video just a video on talking about it's going to be to the point we cannot we as the body of christ we can't we ain't gonna really be able to watch certain things y'all and get into it because of this whole agenda that satan is having out here but i'm gonna be honest the Lord redirected my message for tonight, okay? So tonight, I just got done watching my sister in Christ do a video on Beyonce being a false prophet and all that. A lot of people are worshiping Beyonce and all that. And this message is going to tie into what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to tell y'all something. I did this message almost a year, well, a, almost two years ago, okay? I did this message almost two years ago when... I went home for the holidays, and I'm like, the Lord just placed this on my heart when I read it. He placed it on my heart when I was reading it, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm like, Lord, I gotta share this. I have to share it. At the time, I was on Facebook when I did it, when I shared the video, and I ministered. I was crying in tears because this was a plea. I don't know about y'all, but this was a freaking plea and i don't really say frequent when i minister but this was a plea and this was a warning and this was just to let people know it's time to wake up it is time to wake up i don't know if i did this before with y'all or not i know i ministered a video not i mean i minister on a video to the tribe of judah just to let them know some things but I'm about to minister to y'all again, okay? So, if you have your Bibles, this is really a message, a direct message to the tribe of Judah, okay? Tribe of Judah. We are the last tribe left. We are the only ones that are left, okay? Hear me out. Hear me good. We the last ones left. Jonah, uh, not Jonah, tell you that. Tribe of Joseph is not here. Tribe of Benjamin. Manasseh, Ephraim, Dan, Simeon, Levi, no, Naphtali, Issachar, Dan, Beersheba, uh -uh. they're not here. We're the only ones left, y'all. The tribe of Judah, we are still here. But it's time to get it right because you know what? We still have to like the children of Israel who are our ancestors okay we still acting like them we still want to do what we want to do we still want to idolize people and whatnot it's time to cut off your idols it's time to put them down and all that so if you have your bibles and we're gonna start at verse 7 okay it's gonna be second Kings 17 verse 7 okay starting at verse 7 for so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God. One thing about the tribe and the children of Israel, y'all. Start reading from the Old Testament all the way down. These folks, they sinned like it was snow tomorrow. They, like, every time God delivered them from sin, they just kept doing sin. They kept going back to sin like it was a very, very bad habit. And every time they get caught up in the sin and, you know, the Lord sent is a different army to come and get them y'all they want to get out they want deliverance so bad they wanted deliverance so bad i'm like y'all getting on my nerves like the children is real y'all whenever i read the bible i'm like these folks get on my nerves i don't read the bible for entertainment but you know what i would rather read it more than read any of these books coming out but i read it for you know daily bread and all that and whenever I do do my nightly reading, um, you know, I take it in, like, the knowledge. I gain more knowledge and all that because God gives you wisdom. I'd rather have biblical wisdom than earthly wisdom. So, like I said, God will give you wisdom if you ask for it. It's even in his word. If you ask for wisdom, God will give it to you, okay? So... Like I said, let me get back to these these folks because they get on my nerves so bad. But you know what? We're like that today. We're Like I said, we're descendants from the children of Israel, okay? We're descendants. 
So whenever we stand, if we do wrong, nine and ten, we're going to be like, God, please, I won't do this no more. I won't do this no more. Nine and ten, you're going right on back and do it. Why? It's a bad habit. True deliverance. Oh, oof. Let me get on to it. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under, let me move on up, the hand of Pharaoh, excuse the um, folks oh cutting the food, y'all, the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared, keyword, feared, other gods. They're not fearing the God of their fathers. They're not fearing the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, y'all. They're not fearing. They're not fearing that God. They're not fearing the God I serve. They're fearing Baal. They're fearing Molech. They're fearing all these other false gods. They ain't even got breath to give them life. Can't even speak a word of life into them or whatnot. No, 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 no. They worship in statues. They burn in incense. All this other stuff, okay? They fearing all this uh, golden calf, too. That's what they doing. They ain't praying and fasting and watching like how mean you are. They're not doing that. Verse 8. I'm getting turned, y'all. And what does the choose of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and of the kings of Israel which they had made? And the children of Israel did secretly things. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just because you do something secretly, that don't mean God cannot see it. Uh, God is going to see it, okay? Because my God sees it. When Jonah ran, God, when Jonah was running and hiding, God was like, I see you. I see you. I see you, Jonah. I can still see you. You can hide all you want to, but I see you. God sees everything. Man might not see it, but God sees everything, okay? Whew. I told you, I'm getting turned tonight. I mean, I rather get turned from the spirit than get turned from this world. Because the turn up from this world, it, it can't satisfy me. It can't satisfy me. I don't know what y'all doing. Mm-mm. No. Nope. I'd rather be in the spirit, y'all. I, I mean, like, he even came today. Like, the Holy Spirit is a helper. Holy Spirit is helper, okay? And I, I even encourage you, if you don't have him, make Jesus your Lord and Savior so he can send you the Holy Spirit. You have to repent of your sins in order to get him. Okay, I ain't trying to go off topic. But let me let's get let's get back to this. Number nine, y'all. Come on. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their God. And they built them high places. Now, I don't know about but back then, y'all. There used to be a song. I don't know about y'all, but back then there used to be a song called We're Going Up to the High Places. High Places. We're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. This is what they're talking about right here. Because in these high places, they're doing everything that's not right in the sight of the Lord. In all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. Now, verse 10, y'all better read it. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. Verse 11, and there they burn incense in all the high places. See, let me tell you about burning incense and sage. That cannot, that is not going to scare or rebuke the enemy because the enemy knows that stuff is going to open up portals so his little minions can run around and cause havoc in your life, okay? Quit burning sage if you can burn the sage. Leave that stuff alone. If you using that stuff other stuff, leave it alone because all you're doing is open up portals, okay? Mm, I might as well go waterless tonight because I'm ministering. And there they burned incense in all the high places, as did the heathen, whom the Lord carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord God angry. See, every time they sinned, God was angry. I can't tell y'all how many times I read these folks, the children of Israel, sinning, God being angry. God being angry. Because let me tell you something. Sin does not please God. Sin is what the enemy is 
it's what pleases the enemy, okay? It's how the enemy gets worshipped. When you're smoking weed, the enemy is getting some type of worship. When you're drinking to get drunk, you're worshipping the enemy. When you're out here cheating, you're worshipping the enemy. When you're out here stealing, you're worshipping the enemy. All that, okay? So quit saying it. I encourage you to. It's hard. It's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's hard. It is hard. That's why you need to come to God in full submission. Okay. Here we go. For they served idols, whereof the Lord has said unto them, Ye shall not do this thing. I'm gonna tell y'all something though, too. A lot of people, especially in this dark world industry dark world industry of this music and all that Beyonce especially they are worshiping her like she's some type of goddess and whatnot us uh, last time I checked she ain't died on the cross for my sins okay she didn't but what she is doing is oper being operated under the Jezebel spirit to hypnotize the beehives and let them know you know and you know and letting them know, oh, it's okay to be a church girl and thought, and be a thought. It's okay to be a church girl and twerk. It's okay to be a church girl and do this and that. No, 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 no. And then plus you're thanking the queer community, the LGBT community. Honey, we got a problem. They need deliverance. They do not need to keep being bonded in their sin, okay? And then she got a whole church, y'all. Like I said, she did not down Calvary for my sins. She, she don't serve the God I serve. And then last night, had the audacity to say she thanked God at the Grammys. My eyes have been open. The scales fall off. Their God is not the God I serve. Their God is not the God I serve. Their God is the ruler of this world. The ruler of darkness. Verse 13 Yet the Lord testified against Israel And against Judah Okay This is, this is a big one right here Judah By all the prophets And by all the seers Saying Turn ye from your evil ways And keep my commandments and my statutes According to all the law Which I commanded your fathers And which I sent to you by my servants and the prophets. By my servants and the prophets. I'm sorry, y'all. Notwithstanding, they would not hear. Okay? That's the thing. He sent them prophet after prophet after prophet after prophet. And what they did, they let it go in one end and out the other. A lot of times we do that. When our parents used to tell us something, I know I did. I know I did for a fact. So I know back then, whenever my parents used to tell me about the boy I used to love, I let it go in one ear and out the I did that one time. Because my dad was trying to say, see, I'm trying to show you something. I just let it go in one ear and out the other because I knew for a fact he did not like that child. He did not like him. Okay? Period. But... You know, now I'm thankful that, you know, I don't have any relationships or anything with this young man. Okay, I still love this man, but I'm going my, I've been going my way. He went his, but I'm letting the Lord, you know, handle him. That's all I'm going to say. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but harden their necks. Oh, they were stiff neck, y'all. Like to the neck of their fathers. See, they, see, it's a generational curse. The sins of your grandparents, great-grandparents, a lot, that can be passed on down. So if somebody was struggling with alcohol, 9, 10 is struggling with alcohol. 9, 10, you got to find someone in your family that struggled with alcohol. Same with drugs. Same with promiscuity. Um, what else? extortioning and all that, being greedy and all that, trouble with lust, like, mm, that can all be passed down. But, God does raise up black sheep, I would say that. And, 
his chosen ones to break the generational curses. Uh, number 15. That did not believe in the Lord their God. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I'm sorry, I didn't finish this part. 14. That did not believe in the Lord their God. Mm. Just like some folks today. And they rejected his statutes and his covenants that he made with their fathers and his testimonies, which he testified against them, and they fought. Vanity. Okay, vanity is real and it's still out here, y'all. It's still out here. And became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them, concerning when the Lord concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. Okay? He gave them he gave them opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to repent, to change their ways. What they did? Went left instead of right. It, like, like I said, mm -mm, you gonna keep doing it. You gonna keep doing it. There's gonna come a time when your grace is gonna fall. There's gonna come a time because you know what? You can't keep playing your Russian roulette with your life. If God is trying to tell you to do something, do it. And I mean, do it. And I'm not talking. I'm not being like one of these false prophets telling you, "Oh, the Lord placed this that in your heart." No, 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 no. I'm talking about with your soul because. Unrepentant sins don't get inside the kingdom, okay? They don't get inside the kingdom. So I'd rather be obedient than disobedient. Verse 16. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God and made them molten images and two calves and made a grove and worshipped all the hosts of heaven and served Baal. Okay, let me tell y'all something about Baal. Baal is a false god. Baal had 450 prophets. All of them sat at Jezebel's table. Jezebel worshiped Baal. So God hates Baal and Jezebel. A lot of y'all favorite um, false prophets and whatnot, they all are sitting at the table of Jezebel. They are all Baal. They're all following Baal. They're not following the God I serve. They're not. They're not following, because you shall know that ye shall know them by the, your their fruits. Okay, the Bible says that ye shall know them by their fruits. Because if they keep digging in your pockets and robbing from you, name one time Jesus digged in somebody's pocket. Name one time he charged somebody because he healed them. Name a time where he gave the people that sat came and listened to him. False hope, manipulation, lies, and all that. Okay, if you sin with Baal and all that, you're gonna have all those things. Baal is gonna rob you. Baal is going to manipulate you. Baal is going to give you false hope. Okay? They're not speaking of this no more, y'all. They're not speaking of this anymore. Okay. I wish I had got some water, but I'm gonna keep on going, y'all. 17 and then after that we're gonna stop at 19 well we're gonna stop at 20 and they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire okay this is molech okay and this is actually what abortion is like y'all yep this is where abortion comes from the god of molech they sacrificing their sons and their daughters yep and even child sacrifices too I would say the same thing so yes all this is real y'all it is real let's keep going and use divination and enchantments witchcraft witchcraft and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord okay so what what does that tell you they're selling their souls that your favorite rapper is selling his soul. Your favorite singer. Oh, Beyonce sold her soul, by the way. I know she said it. She even said it. And people want to defend her. Oh, she ain't in Illuminati. Uh, 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 excuse me. Is someone telling you plain and clear? I sold my soul. It's coming from them. It's not coming from me. Whew. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel 
and remove them out of his sight. There was none left. Here, okay, here we go. I'm talking to us, y'all. Talking to us. <clears throat> well, I'm talking to y'all too. When I say us, it's the only tribe that's left. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. I'm going to say this again. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. Also, now 19 and 20, okay? Also, Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord their God, but walked in the statutes of Israel, which they made. Now, if you go back in Genesis, because Genesis in with um, Joseph dying and all that, he has a brother by the name of Judah, okay? Oh, I forgot about Reuben, y'all. I loved Reuben. Well, that's another story for another day, y'all. But, um, yeah, I was about to say the only boys by Israel who used to be known as Jacob I love are the only three. Reuben, Joseph, and Benjamin. The only three I love out of the 12 that Israel had. <laughs> you don't know who Israel is, read the Bible. That's all I'm going to say. But them the only three I love. But he has a son named Judah. And then there's a story in the book of Genesis about Judah and Tamar. Tamar is Judah's daughter-in-law. But she ended up sleeping with Judah. Yeah, Naz is helpful. But yeah, she ended up sleeping with him. But here's the thing. Two, she she gets first to twins, and only one of her twins becomes an ancestor and lineage for Jesus Christ. That's why the only tribe is left. That's why Judah, the only tribe, is left. The tribe of Judah is the only one that's left today. Why we're waiting on our Messiah? We we're waiting on him, y'all. We are waiting on him. We're waiting on him. Because time is running out. Time is running out. Um, Yes, time is running out. Time is running out. Time is running out. I'm sorry my vibe going like this, y'all. But I keep trying to get it in. But yes, time is running out. It is running out. Y'all thinking we're going to be here forever. No, 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 no. Choose this day whom ye shall serve. Choose this day whom ye shall serve. Choose this day whom ye shall serve. I, I cannot I cannot stop stressing this enough, y'all. I can't. I can't. I'm trying not to cry either. Because like I said, real prophecy weak. I'm trying my best not to cry. But quit playing your Russian away with your life. If you're sick and tired of sinning, quit sinning. It's not easy. That's why you need to come to Jesus as you are. Don't try to fix it yourself. Because when you try to fix things yourself, when you try to fix things yourself, you get tired. You get tired. I know this for a fact, y'all. You get tired trying to do everything yourself. I really am trying not to cry. I'm trying not to. Okay. So we got number 20, y'all. And that's going to be it. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel. So not just, not just Judah. He, he did the other, um, other 11 too. Because there's only 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There's Joseph, there's Manasseh, Ephraim, Benjamin, Simeon, Levi, Naphtali, Isaac. I love that name too. That's a beautiful name. Uh, Beersheba, Dan, Judah, Reuben. Reuben's the oldest, though. But yeah. Yeah, he's the oldest, but still. Mm. I didn't do it in order by which they were born. Mm -mm. I ain't doing no order. 
Oh, I forgot about Levi, too. Mm. I'm trying not to cry, y'all. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of spoilers. So, yes, this is God's wrath. You know, a lot of times people will say, oh, Jesus loves you and all that. Okay, okay. But do we do we talk about his wrath? Do we talk about the side of him when he keeps, when he disciplines those he loves? Or when he just gets so provoked to anger that he has enough? God is still sitting on the throne. God is still in control of this world, whether it's ruled by the enemy or not, okay? He is still in control. He has more power than the enemy. The enemy has to ask for permission. He has to ask for permission to mess with your life and all that. He ain't got no power unless you give it to him. Think about it. In the book of Job, he had to ask God to bother Job uh, just to get Job to curse God. And what happened? His plan didn't work. I'm going to tell you something. What the enemy uses for evil, God would turn around and use it for good. So all of Job's friends was telling him to, you know, you should curse God and all this. What have you done? Just go ahead. Even his own wife was trying to tell him to curse God. Job stood his ground. There needs to be people like Job today. Standing their ground when they're going through something. You know, seasons, they come and they go. Seasons come and they go. Until he had cast them out of his sight. So he cast them out. He cast them out because he was so sick and tired of them. Of delivering them from the same thing that they kept on doing. Kept on doing. Kept on doing. There's going to come a time. Where God is going to take his hands off and be like, my grace. Uh-uh. It is time. And I mean, it is time. And I'm going to say this. It's time to choose this day. Whom ye shall serve. Put down your idols. Quit burning sage. Get rid of the enchantments, the crystal balls, the tarot readers, um, love spells, whatever y'all are doing these days and time. Quit it. And I mean quit it. Put it down. Judah, we the only tribe that is, uh, that is left. The only tribe. And it's time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. It's time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. Tomorrow ain't promised to none of us. It's not. It's not promised to none of us. So choose this day whom you going to serve. It's time. It is time. It's time. To choose this day whom he shall serve. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you still here today, if you are still here today, that means God, every time God wakes you up, he, not only is he starting you on your way, but that is an opportunity to get it right. A lot of times people think, Money is blessing. Money is just the blessing that we always want to seek after. But I'm going to tell you something about my God. The God I serve will give you a little bit more time on your life. Just so you can get it right. Just so you can get it right. That's the God I serve. Matter of fact, it's in the Bible. I'm reading Stephen Kings right now. But he gave, I want to say he gave, it's, I want to say it's in here. But I know for a fact he gave Hezekiah more time. I know for a fact. <clears throat> I know for a fact that. I don't know people going to come for me because I, I mentioned Beyonce. I don't care. I, don't, I really do not care. It's just time to put away your idols. You're not supposed to be worshiping any idols. You're not supposed to have idols. You're not supposed to have idols. No, we serve a jealous God. It's in his word. 
It's in his word. His word has not lied. His word is still alive, y'all. His word is still alive. I literally was going to go deeper and deeper tonight into my studies, but I'm going to finish the rest of this hopefully tomorrow because I know where I stop off at number 20, but at the end of the day, I had to share this. I'm like, God, didn't I share this before? Didn't I share this before? I, I have to do it again. If I, I have to look back at my other YouTube video, y'all, if I hadn't shared this message with y'all before, I'm going to still keep it. The keep both of because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear this. Okay? Because I remember, like I always say, whenever I write my books, and I don't really talk about my books when I do messages. So y'all know that for a fact. But anyway, and I mean this, and I mean I mean this. Reason why I choose to write what I write, and that is with Christian romance. I never know what my readers are going through on a day-to-day -day basis. So I write the three E's. Educate, entertain, but my favorite part is to encourage because encourage is a gift. It's a spiritual gift. The Bible even says that. And I even been told I'm an encourager. So I have to be mindful of how I use my gift. How I use it. Too many people want to Rob from, um, rob from the flock and all that. Uh, uh. Nope, I ain't got time for that. I want to do. I want to hear, "Well done, that good and faithful servant." That's what I want to hear. I'm sure y'all want to hear the same too. <sighs> Try not to cry, y'all. Try not to cry. Whenever I say I'm trying not to cry, it's because real prophets they weep when they give messages like this you will never see me wanting to give you all false hope you will never hear me giving you lies and whatnot no 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 i mean i might write christian fiction okay and i know that's the only true but point of the matter is i care about souls at the end of the day and i mean souls 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 that's yes I care about souls and I mean souls mm. I'm trying like I said I'm trying not to cry but I'm gonna be honest and keep it real For some odd reason I just I know this was the Holy Spirit y'all I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. This was the Holy Spirit. He's been tugging at me all day. And I've been tugging at me. Because I was dealing with something. I said, when will it stop? When? I've been dealing with something nine years. Nine years straight. And I'm like, when will it stop? When? Will it stop? When will it stop? Y'all don't know by now. Y'all gonna know today. But I've been having nightmares. Yes, nightmares. Of the young man I used to love. I used to love him so bad when nobody but him. I thought this boy was the only man in the world. But now, I'm having nightmares. And like I said, I just don't want no dealing. Period. I, I ain't care what he do who he is and all that. I don't even want that. But I know it's nobody but the enemy that wants me to be unforgiven. And I said, Lord, I can't keep doing this. So I watched a sweet family movie today and it, in this movie, he was talking about forgiveness. Forgiveness. Letting go of all the hate and, all, and anger towards that person. I was like, Oh, I need to sit here and watch this. Like, I'm ready. Like, I was even crying today. Because I got convicted of watching the show. Well, it's not a show, but it's a movie. I got convicted watching the movie. I said, I just want to let go. But I could, like, I, 
for some odd reason, had plans on finishing another book tonight in the Bible. That's how I know it's the Holy Spirit. He had to read the rest. And then I even was going to do a video for y'all. Uh, another video. I could not. I, I, I'm not saying I couldn't, but I just couldn't get past what I was reading. I'm like, God, did I share this? God, did I share this? I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying my best not to cry. Y'all just don't know. True prophets, they weep because the assignment is so hard. I'd rather be an unprofitable, faithful servant than to be a greedy, false prophet. Like I said, I care about your souls. I care about mine. I can't do what I have to do if if I'm beaten, if I'm broken, and all that. If I'm if my soul is just still dealing and tugging on things that that's gonna keep me from being inside the kingdom. Oh, goodness. But, and I mean, but, today, it was nobody but the Holy Spirit. Because today, I even had to stand up for Christ. I had to get onto somebody by using God's name and thing. And I was like, this is him and even have a relationship with God. Because at the end of the day, so many people are saying, or they're saying name Jesus Christ, but don't really know him. They don't have a relationship with him. They don't. I had to go to this young person. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm crying. I'm trying not to apologize much. I'm trying not to cry much. But like I said, real prophets, they weep. We weep because our assignment is so hard. It's hard. I don't get paid for this. I don't want to get paid for it because I care about your soul. And I'm about to end this. But before I end this, I always say this. If you are someone you know that do not have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and want to accept him as your Lord and Savior, do it now while you have the chance. For tomorrow is not promised to nobody. Do it while you have a chance today. Do it. I mean, do it. Do it. Do it. I mean, do it. So may God continue to keep you all. May he bless you all. Be blessed.